What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video primarily here today. This is a pretty late night video. Don't really often do too many videos this late at night. But if you're watching, then you're watching. Hope you enjoy. Scream 6 has officially received an R rating. But before I get into that, I want to talk about Courtney Cox's comments about this being the best one yet. And what that could potentially mean for the upcoming movie. So Courtney Cox has stated with Scream 6. Oh, well, firstly, before I even get to that. Congratulations to... Courtney Cox for finally receiving her star uh that was a very big moment for her and she wholeheartedly deserves that so while she was enjoying her moment she made comments about Scream Scream 6 uh she said that with Scream 6 we can expect the best one yet and I'll leave a link to this clip in the description over on Twitter she said it's so scary and if you like Ghostface or if you like to hate Ghostface you're gonna hate this one it's intense I couldn't believe how much further it went I didn't know they could top how many times you stab somebody but they did now here are my thoughts on that a lot of people think that the person she's talking about is herself so does that mean that during her chase sequence that gail weathers is going to get stabbed multiple times and a lot of people think that she's talking in a manner in which she's very excited about dying i don't really mean i don't think that this means she's going to die she very well could die but to be honest, the way it's being flaunted in front of us so much, there's a good strong chance she's going to make it out of this movie alive, but she's going to be very severely injured. She's most likely going to be put through something we've never seen before. It's going to be a sequence that probably breaks our hearts, something that really has us on the edge of our seat, something that just has us completely wrapped in emotions up until the point where she is let go and it's a sigh of relief and she is able to walk away still alive no pun intended which is a song coming out this friday by demi lovato and in the end you could end up with one of the very best chase sequences that the franchise has ever produced when you're doing this to such a beloved character so i think that they know exactly what they're doing they're gonna pull at your heartstrings but she won't die there's something that tells me she is not going to die now we know that this statement is her genuine feeling when she's saying this this is, is it, or we can expect the best one yet but her sentiment is not going to be the same for everyone for instance when you say best one yet in terms of sequels i mean sure i i can see it happening however there's a certain thing i feel as though none of the screams have done better than scream 2 when it comes to these sequels and that's making the best out of the supporting cast scream 2 to me seems to do that the best out of all the sequels we've gotten scream 6 very well could top scream 2 in that regard but i just doubt it i think that scream 6 can top scream 2 in terms of memorable kills chase scenes and possibly again delivering one of the most iconic phone calls that leads to an even more relentless chase scene with one of the most beloved final girl characters that we've had in the franchise since the very beginning and here's what's here's what's also going to be so i feel wonderful about that if she makes it out of this scenario alive it will feel like a very earned situation for her in the sense of this is your time to shine this is going to be a moment that could literally propel gail weathers to an even more higher status in the final girl discussions this could lead to her having a chase scene that is comparable to what Helen Shivers had in I Know What You Did Last Summer. If they're able to just deliver a chase scene that makes you completely forget about all the things you were upset about, maybe going into Scream 6, then they have a winner on their hands with this upcoming chase scene. Something about this chase scene with Gail seems like it's going to be pretty, pretty special. I just have a feeling that this is going to be one of the most well-regarded chase scenes that we look at look back on for the foreseeable future now i could of course be overhyping it and i will find that out on tuesday but something about this chase scene they're, they're they're flaunted it in front of us for a reason they want they want us to see what they've done and what they've cooked up i think they've cooked up something special with that chase scene so scream six could end up being the best one yet when it comes to the killer reveals if the motive hits home and if the context of it all touches on another let's say timely aspect of society the way that scream three did the way that scream four did and the way that scream five did as well now the point being the best one yet coming from her is definitely going to build excitement and i see that it has over on twitter over on reddit just anywhere i've seen this clip posted i doubt this will top the original but i have a strong hunch it could give scream 2 a run for its money in certain departments but it will ultimately be the third best entry i could see in my ranking scream 6 like i said before at the beginning of the video 
has officially been rated R in the States by the MPAA. It's been rated R for strong, bloody violence and language throughout and brief drug use. Now, the drug use has caught the eye of a lot of you, so I figured I'd speculate on what that could potentially be. At most, a party scene likely set on Halloween night will have a sequence of random extras doing drugs, let's say, maybe a pair of characters playing spin the bottle or something, but nothing on par with the absurdity we see in scary movie. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ghostface won't be in attendance hitting a bong or sharing a very hilarious moment with Shorty. None of that will be going on. The R rating didn't shock most people, of course, since it was highlighted in several teasers for months, and given this is the history of this franchise. The TV spots would list the movie as not yet rated but we knew what we were going to get now the wait is over we know it's rated r officially not that it's that shocking ultimately all i want from scream 6 is for them to completely eliminate those COVID protocols that upon several rewatches now of scream 5 even when i was watching in theaters i'm like these COVID protocols are definitely not going to help this movie age well and the movie is still very good in terms of what they were able to produce under those circumstances but everything we've seen from the tv spots to the trailers all the aesthetic overall looks completely different compared to scream scream 5 it's like all that has been broken away and it's just a breath of fresh air they're really getting to just put their whole foot in this now they're not held back by all of these other different restraints and all these different things that they had to worry about because of everything that was going on in the world given what they did with five they still put out a pretty good movie it is a very another solid entry into the franchise this franchise still has yet to have its moment where it's just been a complete dud some people would say it already has i don't agree i don't think it's ever reached the territory of being at halloween 5 or even halloween resurrection and i don't think it ever will i just don't see it ever happening you have to really go out of your way to try to strive to produce trash like that and i don't think anybody has ever done that with the scream franchise i don't think scream 6 is going to do it what do you guys think about what courtney cox aka gail weathers had to say about this being the best one yet down in the comment section below do you think this is going to be the best one yet to top the original do you think it's just going to be the best sequel yet do you think it's going to fall somewhere third maybe even second in your ranking do you think it could actually actually dethrone Scream 2 for the overall discussions of what the best sequel is in the franchise. When this movie comes out and you see those comparisons to Scream 2, that is how I know we have a hit on our hands because I don't see many people doing that with Scream 5, but I think that has a we have a high chance of that happening with 6. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.